So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 46. If k is greater than 4 is a constant, how would you translate the graph of y equals x squared to get the graph of y equals x squared plus 4x plus k? This one is actually related to 45 that we just did. It's about recognizing what happens when you translate graphs. So we're starting with the graph of y equals x squared. What does that look like? That's just a basic parabola, right? So basic parabola that goes through the origin. And that's y equals x squared. And we want to translate it to y equals x squared plus 4x plus k where k is some number that's greater than 4, some constant number. Um, but when we have a polynomial graph, a quadratic in particular, um, that's in this form, this standard form, it's not as easy to graph as if we have it in this form. y equals x minus a quantity squared plus b, where a and b are constants. When it's written in this form, we can say that A is the horizontal shift and B is the vertical shift. So, can we rewrite this the way it is now in the preferred form that's easier to graph? So, if the, again, just to be clear, the vertex of y equals x squared is located at 0, 0. This graph, y equals x minus a quantity squared plus b, has the exact same shape as y equals x squared. The only difference is that it's been translated a units to the right and b units up. Assuming that this, this is minus a, so if a is a positive number, it's minus something that moves it to the right, and then positive b moves it up. If it's negative b, it moves it down. If this is x plus something, that moves it to the left. So the question is, can we rewrite this that way? And we can. We do that by completing the square. So let's do that. Uh, we know the middle term needs to be 4x. So we can write y equals x plus 2 quantity squared. And this needs to, we need to correct for something. So if we were to have x plus 2 quantity squared and we foiled that out, we would get x squared plus 4x plus 4. So if we're going to start by writing this, this essentially carries a plus 4 in it that doesn't really exist out here. So to compensate for that plus 4, we'd better subtract 4. Right, so basically this minus 4 exists to cancel out this plus 4 that we are essentially adding by writing x plus 2 quantity squared. So these are exactly equivalent statements. I suppose I could have um, done this backwards, right? I could have wrote this expression first and say, hey, is it okay if we do plus 4 as long as we do minus 4? Sure, absolutely. And then we can bundle this up and say, all right, this trinomial can be factored into the quantity x plus 2 quantity squared, and then we still have to carry the minus 4. And the plus k, of course, is still there as well. So looking at this second thing, we're actually a lot closer to our desired format. We now have x plus a constant quantity squared minus 4 plus k. So 4 and k are both constants, so we can clean that up a bit too. So let's write one more step. Let's now write this as x plus 2 quantity squared plus k minus 4. And if you'd like, you can bundle this up as well. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's essentially the same thing. Um, and then, since it's x plus 2 instead of x minus 2, this moves 2 units to the left. 
You can also think of this as x minus a minus 2, if you'd like. But either way, this moves it to the left, two units. And then here, assuming k is greater than 4, the quantity k minus 4 is going to be positive. So this moves us k minus 4 units up. Uh, vertical shift up k minus 4 units. If k were less than 4, then this would ultimately be negative and it would be a downward shift. So which one is left 2 units and up k minus 4 units? That's choice C. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.